Here I am with my main man, Jamie Bosch, who's the um, 400 metre world, world indoor champion. World indoor champion. World right? outdoor and, champion. Really? And, and you've never seen a setup as professional as mine in I all your years, have you, mate? I tell you what, this is brilliant. <laughs> I don't know where to look. Jamie's normally got do. these. You normally got these huge cameras yeah, well, from flipping it, the BBC. Yeah, and this everything. is normally BBC, but we don't need the BBC. We don't need them. This time we next don't year, need they're going to be shut down. They're going to be shut down. You're going to put Mark, the BBC out of a job. It'll be Mark Llewellyn <laughs> all, over, yeah. all over the place, mate. Um, yeah, God, I first met you in Cardiff, uh, 2006, I think. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> and, yeah. and, and what I remember from meeting you was you're like, just so down to earth, so nice. You were like, you seen some of the plans I was doing. You said, Mark, jump in my mini. Yeah, and yeah. then you just sort of took me to the, um, the flipping all over, all well, over the place. Well, that's it. Well, the thing is, is, you know, when you meet certain people, you just gravitate towards them. And that, that day we met, I just wore a top bloke. Do you know what I mean? And I still think you that You hear that, people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now we can end the interview, man. <laughs> that's it. Like, give me a fiver. Give me a fiver. <laughs> <laughs> I've just said what you want me to say. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. No, on a serious tip. And, you know, it's just one of those things is when you meet certain people, even though, yeah. you know, you, you come from different pathways or whatever and you've done one thing, I've done another, but you meet certain people and they've got that same sort of interest in yeah. life. And that's what I found in you. I thought, I'm, 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 I'm as interested in you as if I was chatting to the Queen or something. Because everyone's got something to offer, haven't they? And uh, uh, yeah. your story is phenomenal. I just love it. Yeah. That, that, that's just... Um Thank you very much, yeah. mate. Thank you. I'll give you the fiver now. I'll give you yeah. the fiver, mate. We've got fivers going underneath the table. But it's like you've been in the flipping line, like you like the man of you like the face of Cardiff, basically, as well. And everybody everyone certainly over thirty in Wales knows who you are mm. with your Olympic your achievements in athletics yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. So we're gonna interview you on your tips for success. First of all, Jamie, what is your definition for success? Um, success to me, you know, a lot of people look at success and they think it's maybe getting an Olympic gold medal, uh, medal or a, a world medal. And that to me is great, but success to me is having, imagine having a pie chart and, um, and you look in that chart and maybe getting an Olympic medal may only take up 30% of that pie chart. What I think success is, is having a healthy life, healthy family, um, uh, uh, you know, people around you which make you happy, being happy, maybe possibly get an Olympic medal if you can get one, yeah. and, uh, and, uh, and healthy finances. You know, I know lots of people in the public eye who, from the outset, you would look at them and you go, God, what a successful person. But then you go to their house and they're arguing with their wife. Yeah. You know, badly, you know, so it's not like a, you know, a volatile relationship. And you just think to yourself, well, is that a successful man or woman? It's not. That's yeah. not success. Success is having everything in that pie chart being, in a, being a 10. That's and if, you, if they can all be at the top, um, then you've done well. So that, to me, is having it all. Because yeah. I, I remember that reminds me of something. Um, I was watching an interview on Robbie Williams, a singer, years mm. ago, and he just signed this deal for 80 million quid or something yeah. like that. And he said, you know, he was very honest after. He was saying, he said, it looked like all this amazing stuff was happening in my life, and some of it was. Yeah. But he remembers before he went out the door one day, he was sitting behind the door crying. He yeah. didn't want to go out. Yeah, I, you know, I, it's funny you mentioned Robbie. Over the years, I've looked at a person like that, and I've met him a couple of times, and he seems quite an interesting guy. Yeah. But you can still yeah. see his demons there, you know? And, and, uh, um, and unfortunately, people look at these people in the public eye and think, oh, wow, but it's not, that's not what it's all about. And maybe Robbie didn't have a great family setup, or maybe he was craving something which he couldn't get. And, you know, so, so to me, it's, it's just having... You know, to sum it all up, it's being successful in every part of your life, be it um, health, wealth, yes. you, know, uh, 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 you know, the whole trimmings, really. And just to be comfortable with who you are. Yeah, with, with, d d definitely, with who you are, because if you're not comfortable with yourself, how can you be happy, you know? And, uh, you know, some people put on a show um, in front of people. The one thing which I would say about me is I am who I am, you know, and, uh, and I never, yeah. whenever I, I, I'm on the TV or if I'm chatting like this or if I'm chatting to my friends, everyone who knows me knows I always act the same. It's no, it's yeah. no 
let me chat to this person different to that person. If you like me, you like me. If you don't like me, you don't like me. I'm not going to try and impress you. I'm just going to be who I am. Yeah. So uh, it makes me feel comfortable when I wake up in the morning because I haven't got to put on an app. Because when I, when I first met you, right, you know, like everybody's seen you in Wales on the TV and mm. stuff like that. Oh, yes. And I was like, uh, I started talking to you and I thought he's probably going to go, fuck off, Mark. I, <laughs> you're just a nobody. Don't even speak to me. But you're just like... Yeah. I just uh, I was amazed, like, because th- there are some people who were just like, I want to get to the next run and the next rung of the ladder and the next rung yeah, of the ladder and yeah. fuck you. And, yeah. and, and it's like, now I need to meet this guy and this guy at the expense of everything. Everything. You know, to me, is that's the person who goes home at the end of the night and is unhappy, yeah. you know? Um, and, and, you know, that's not the way to be. Do you know what I mean? And, um, you know, my parents have taught me a lot, you know, growing up. I, I, I owe it to my parents that the way I am, you know, they've brought me up in a lovely way and it's rubbed off and my children are the same. I have a lot of people coming up to me saying, oh my God, your kids have a credit and it's nice to hear that. Yeah. Um, and, and at the end of the day, attaining an Olympic medal or World Championship medal, it's just a lump of metal at the end of the day, you know? Um, how I look at it is, if it wasn't for the people who watch me run, then the Olympics means nothing. It's because of people like you watch us in the yeah. first place of why I am who I am. Yeah. I could break a world record in my back garden, it doesn't mean anything, but if I break a world record in front of a million people, a billion people on TV at the Olympics, yeah. then it means something, yeah. supposedly. So, so to me, I'm always grateful to others because I've realized it's because of them of why I am who I am. So um, yeah, I've always thought that. Fantastic. Um, did you have any role models when you were growing up? Um, yeah, um, Daley Thompson was my... I loved him. Yeah, was great, you know, <laughs> he was amazing, wasn't and, he? You know, I just Olympics. remember, when you say Daley Thompson, you know, I can remember him... Doing the backflip. Flip, the yeah, backflip on there, was amazing, wasn't he? And that's they? like 30 years ago, which is yeah. scary, but, you know, the guy, maybe even longer, yeah. and, you know, the guy is just was a phenomenal athlete, and, you yeah. know, to see somebody achieve so much in sport, he did inspire me. As a, as a kid to, to, to uh, go forward, you know? Yeah, so you spring, my mum and dad have got to be, got to be in that tier, you know? Um, how, they're your heroes, you know? How important was it, because you I was l- looking at something uh, on YouTube earlier about with the, the adoption stuff, and how important was it that they supported you in those years? Yeah, I, I think if it wasn't for my mum and dad, maybe I wouldn't have gone into athletics, and, you know, I owe it to them that they, you know, they used to come, you know, my dad used to take me training twice a week when I was 10, 11 years old. I he used to take me to running meetings. My mum and dad used to take me there if they hadn't. Again, would I be who I am today? So they put a lot of hard graft in to, for me to attain what I've attained and to achieve what I've achieved. So my mum and dad have been so important to me. And I, I call it the Christmas tree effect. You've, you've got a star on top of the Christmas tree, which was me by achieving what I did in athletics. And then you've got a branch off it, which would be my parents. The other branch, which would have been my coach. The other branch would have been yeah. my nutritionist. My other branch would have been my masseuse. My other branch would have been being in America, you know, yeah. if I didn't have all the branches filled properly, my tree, tree would have dwindled, would have died, and I wouldn't be the star. So it's because of everyone else why I've become what I've become in, in sport. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so it's great. It's fantastic. Um, we were talking like, we were talking earlier, and we could have just talk forever, couldn't yeah, we? Yeah, like, it's good to how talk. important is it to <clears throat> associate with the right people? Success breeds success. Yeah. Um, we we all know that. When I when I trained with uh, Colin Jackson, he was my coach, the Olympic hurdler, world record holder. And he held that. We- he held that world record a long time, <laughs> forever. Yeah, a long time. And Colin still looks the same now as he did then. He's like great guy. Um, Linford Christie, Colin Jackson, Darren Campbell, Catherine May, uh, Bruni Serin, um, Frankie Fredericks, yeah. um, John Reed, just to name just a few. Yeah. My training group. Yeah. When you're around those people, you can't help become successful 